At the city council meeting on Tuesday, Councilwoman Whitehead gaslights the public. She claims that there is a lot of misinformation about road diets. However, she is the one that is spreading it. She says there are no plans for lane reductions on 100th Street. But right on the city's website, the documents show that 100th Street is, in fact, on the list. There is a lot of misinformation about what the city is doing with roads. So, for instance, 100th Street, there's no lane reductions proposed. But because there's so much misinformation, I do think it would be good to take the road sections in this petition and clarify what those options could be in the future. So Ms. Whitehead claims that there are no lane reductions proposed for 100th Street. Well, there have been two presentations by the transportation planner that specifically described the proposal to reclassify 100th Street to reduce the lanes from four lanes to two lanes. Just watch. One of the areas where we really have an, a lot of opportunity to look at converting major collectors that have already been built that way to minor collectors. But the streets we're looking at in yellow here are all very good candidates for being changed from major collector to minor collector classification. 100th Street corridor from Frank Lloyd Wright on the south to Frank Lloyd Wright on the north. Then the segment from the southern Frank Lloyd Wright intersection up to Thompson Peak. Then again on February 22nd, 2022, the same transportation planner gave an update to the plan that reiterated the reclassification of many streets, including the 100th Street Loop from Frank Lloyd Wright to Frank Lloyd Wright. Looking forward to visiting with you tonight on the discussion of our transportation action plan draft. Some additional discussion on, on, the, on the street classification changes. We have 11 segments where we're, we're proposing changing from a four-lane major collector to a two-lane minor collector. Those would typically still have a center turn lane uh, associated with them. And they're, <clears throat> excuse me, they're, those are all listed in your packet. But all of these streets, and they're highlighted in yellow, are streets where the maximum counts that we have per day are about 9,000 on the, on the one segment of 100th Street from Thompson Peak Parkway, where my arrow is, up around to Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. So that's one of the reasons that we're looking at how we can reclaim some of these, these lanes. Two months later, this transportation action plan was approved by the City Council on April 26, 2022. And as of today, this list of roads that are planned for road diets or paint diets are still listed on the City's website in the transportation action plan. So, we are looking forward to Councilwoman Whitehead's explanation for her misrepresenting the facts in the Transportation Action Plan, which are clearly documented on the city website. Don't we as residents of Scottsdale deserve a council member that we can trust to tell us the truth?